Hi guys, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. Hmm. You're starting with Justice. Might be a Libra. We have the Page of Swords, so it, might, so it might be. Might be an air sign. Three of Coins, Two of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. You may get communication coming in here. There may be a relationship with someone you've met recently that may be moving forward also. Okay, Knight of Cups. The Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, it is in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. I feel like there was a false start in a relationship, but it's coming back around. Meaning, I feel like you may have met someone, and then either you had some problems, or you had to go travel, or this person had to go, do, go take care of some things. Nothing to do with you. Could have just been a family matter, work matter, it really doesn't matter. So it's almost as if... There was a relationship that may have, you thought maybe was over, that it's not. This person's coming back or they're just staying there. I feel like it's new. I also feel like you met this person out or you will be meeting this person out with the three of coins. That, that's usually somewhat in a group setting. It can be work also. Um, I feel like this person or you, one of you have, you have a, like a lot of work to do. Busy, busy. So this person may travel a lot. So it's almost like you guys met and then maybe you went out, things were great, then you didn't hear from them for a while, but it's because they're working a lot. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. They didn't move away from the relationship. They were just really busy. So you may have taken it as no contact. Um, you're disappointed. It doesn't really show disappointed here, but you're probably wondering what they're doing, where they went. Let me go back around one more time. Okay, Knight of Swords coming in maybe very quickly. They might be a water sign or air sign. Seven of Wands. Five of Coins. Knight of Wands. Okay, and the Seven of Swords. All right. So what I'm feeling here is that some of you may have thought this person didn't like you or maybe you thought they were a player. So you may have pushed them away or they pushed you away. I'm seeing like a beginning to a relationship here where someone with the Six of Swords in reverse, it tells me that they had to go do something and then you took that as they were ghosting you. You took that as they were non-responsive. You took that as they were trying to be mean to you. And so you were like, you know, forget it. You're a player. Go away. And instead, I don't think that's what happened. I think this person was interested in you. But they just have a lot of things to do. Or they had a work. Could have been work. But for some reason, I'm picking up on a family issue that they were taking care of. So now that I feel like they feel a little bit left out in the cold I think they like you push them out in the cold and I don't actually feel like this person may have deserved that but I can understand why you would think that um, I think you feel yeah like they were cheating or lying to you let's go around one more time eight of coin yeah I think this person was really busy with work night Knight of Coins, so now they feel kind of stuck. Like, do they come back towards you? Do they do they just go away? Do you want to talk to them? Because I, I feel this person liked you. Yeah, the sun is here. That's what I get. Five of Wands, There's, they're conflicted, though. So you may need to give them a second chance or let them know and listen to your intuition. See, I get that that strongly I mean I feel like you pegged them as a player and maybe you said something to them uh, you may have accused them of you know being a player or cheating or lying to you when in fact it shows me that they were just um, busy working this is like someone kind of like guarding their heart you know the ace of cups is like your heart that's new love and you're standing in front of it now so now the relationship is not really going anywhere I have, do I have all the knights? Which I have all the knights out here. This person may be somewhat younger than you, and they, you may have taken them by surprise also by the way you reacted. Uh, I feel like you were so worried about protecting yourself and not getting hurt that uh, you kind of jumped to conclusions. Because I see this person again, I'm sorry, repeating myself. I see that they liked you. It was like, this is a good match. Uh, they probably, again, didn't explain themselves very well. I think they had to leave quickly and go do something. And you probably get, maybe you blocked them. I don't know if you blocked them or you just sent a text or that kind of confused them. It's kind of what I'm seeing because I feel like you made them think that you think, you know, they're a player, five of wands, nine of wands energy. 
let me put a card on the high priestess because I feel like you let your um, mind or your, you know, get a kind of get away with you. You started imagining things. You thought they were keeping secrets, but they weren't. They're hoping to get uh, back together with you or go out with you again. I don't think you guys were really together. More like going out again. What is the high priestess, please? Temperance. Yeah, so you might have to kind of take it slow. Um, you're going to have to explain yourself just a little bit. I think this person will understand, though. They just don't know what to do. So they definitely liked you. I do see potential here, but you're just going to have to kind of backtrack and tell them, you know, what you were thinking. Let me do a romance card. Flirt. Yeah. Extend your lighthearted energy to other, to others. I think that's how they also are with you. Maybe they are a bit flirtatious and maybe you took it at, as a player, but I'm not getting player energy off this reading at all. I'm getting that you're suspicious. Under the deck is new love. So let me put one more card though on the five of wands down here. Five of wands, please. Because this is kind of, yeah, eight of cups walking away. Hmm. Because I'm not getting that this person really was a player. I'm getting that you more thought they were a player what is the Eight of Cups? Six of Cups, because you felt like it was one-sided. Because you felt like you were the only one either, you know, sending the messages. I think you felt like this person wasn't communicating. You felt like they were cheating, though, but I'm not seeing that here yet. But let me see. I want to see, like, another queen or some king showing up. Full Ace of Wands. So this is kind of making me think that, yeah, there. you thought there was another person who is, let me put one more card here. Okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I feel like some of you jumped the gun. I do. Because this person didn't move away from you. They're worried. If someone's worried, this person went back towards you and they didn't leave. But you're pegging them as a player and you're walking away because you feel like they do have someone else. That they this was going to be one-sided and you, you kind of cut it off, I feel like, before it started. You're using your intuition, though, to see if they're cheating with the Seven of Swords. You feel like they were, though. I'm, I'm, you, you are feeling like they were cheating. You're feeling that like there's somebody else involved. I don't have the Three of Cups. I don't have anyone, anyone else showing up. I have a lot of knights here, but I don't have another person. And so now it's like they could start over with somebody new, Fool, Ace of Wands, or you could too. Now, this may be happening or coming in. So if this person does do that to you, be sure to be aware that it feels like this person could be a water sign and, or an air sign. Because the Knight of Wands can be you doing this. So this is you, Knight of Wands. Um, be sure that you give them a chance to make sure that they are not busy working. Maybe they work a lot. They travel a lot. So give them a chance. If you feel down deep, though, that they are lying to you, of course, and that's your intuition telling you that, then, of course, trust it. Because I feel like you're very dead set that this person was not being honest. But yet I see things here where you kind of, I feel, left them out in the cold. And they would like a second chance with you. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.